Hey guys, doing a video here on the natural reproduction of Yuma recordia. Uh, so we're gonna look at how propagation in the wild works, uh, how how they kind of do it, and it's being replicated in the home aquarium. Um, so we're gonna look at that. I won't be fragging anything here. Um, I won't be pulling any of these guys out and cutting them. I won't be doing anything like that. The big thing that we're going to go through here is how they naturally reproduce, how they naturally end up um, taking over the area that they're in, and uh, how new mushrooms come about. All right, so there are two types, uh, two ways that mushrooms reproduce. Uh, one is longitudinal fission. Um, in this case, the coral creates two mouths and then it splits apart into two separate corals. And then there is pedal laceration. The pedal laceration, um, this is where the coral moves around slowly and leaves behind pieces of their foot, which then grow into a new coral. That's what we're going to see here with these guys. As you can see from these pictures, you can see where its foot is spreading out. Um, you can see there where the foot has kind of separated and the mushroom has moved on, leaving a portion behind. And you can see there again where it's starting to turn into a new mushroom. And then time lapse forward, there are the two new mushrooms from that piece. So this is, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, here. And of course, um, just kind of talking about growth rate a little bit of these guys. So growth rate can tend to be slow at first until the coral is happy and acclimated. But once it is, it can actually accelerate rather quickly. Um, and it can take over the area that it's in. So, you know, it, you put it on the center of a rock or the side of the rock, and next thing you know, you've got Yuma's in a good portion of that rock or on the entire rock. Um, so one mushroom can become a whole rock of mushrooms in a relatively short amount of time once they get acclimated, get happy, and take off. I would also like to note that uh, unlike the dis discoma mushrooms, they do not tend to detach from the rock, float around, and repopulate in other areas. Recordia yuma tend to stay on the rock they're at. Um, like I said, they don't tend to detach and float around. They tend to stay on the rock they're at and populate the area they're in. Um, also kind of looking at things that influence the reproduction rate. Feeding, of course, if you feed these guys, they're gonna reproduce quicker. Uh, Appropriate lighting, medium to high, and flow. So if we're looking at feeding, feeding would be phytoplankton and small foods such as like a reef roids. Um, they will eat things like that. Lighting, we're looking medium to bright lights and flow. Um, low flow is best for these guys. They don't like to be pushed around a lot. They don't like to be have them being picking up from the flow to where they're moving around and their their bodies being picked up off the surface they're on they like a nice even low flow all right so i've got some time lapse for you here we're going to see this happen in real time from the foot being left behind to a whole new mushroom um, i've captured a couple different ones here to show you so you can see different stages we're going to see the start of the laceration, the point where it breaks away, the start of coral formation, which is represented by a green glow that you'll see. Color development, so the green glow turning red, and then finally a new mushroom. So if we look here, there's four mushrooms that were produced from the first pedal laceration. That one on the bottom is the one we're going to follow. So you can see where the foot was being left behind there, and you kind of got that green glow on it get a little bit closer here so you can see see it nice and bright that green glow is where the polyps of the mushroom are going to pop out and come through so there you go you can see the polyps of the mushroom uh, popping out and they're coming through and you can see kind of up close there you really just see the the polyps that the recordia yuma have 
um, starting to form out and burst through that part of the foot that was left behind. So then here we are just a little bit later. You can see the polyps have fully burst through. You can see there's a formation of a mouth. You can see the color uh, is also in the mushroom at this point and it's starting to color up. All right, so now that we kind of have it as its own little mushroom there, you can see the other ones um, have grown as well, and they, they're actually bigger. I, I chose this one to watch because it was a smaller one when it was left behind. But you can see all the other ones have grown as well. Um, color starting to come into the four that were left behind. Um, there's that particular one. You can see the mushroom has moved off again, and it left another section of the foot behind. So we're going to have some more coming out, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, and then it did it a third time, but I didn't include that third time. Uh, these are all that four new ones. So there you go. They're creating a nice little bunch now. Um, they're getting big enough that they're uh, colliding into each other. So they will move a bit and give themselves some space. And uh, that rock will start filling up rather quickly. So here's the two new ones uh, that we're going to look at. There's actually four, but the, the two are, aren't seen in this shot that are below. So the second pedal laceration we're going to look at. As I noted, um, you can see that side of the foot there being left behind again. So you can see that guy that we just followed and the section of the foot being left behind again. And this guy is going to actually leave behind um, sections of his foot on the top and on the bottom, and we're gonna end up with four more new Recordia Yuma mushrooms. So here are the four uh, area, or the two areas where the four mushrooms are gonna pop out of. They're gonna have two at the top, two at the bottom. Um, kind of zooming in on them there, you can see really where the, the foot is breaking off into a couple different pieces to where that's gonna create the two separate little chunks. Um, so you can see here kind of up at the top, you can see it's already right there. You see it's already been pulled away. We now have that one section already with the turning green. You can see the little polyp starting to push out. And on the lower section, you can see that it's broken away and it's going to start turning green and polyps are going to push out there. When we look at the bottom, you can kind of see under that little ledge there, there's a little, little triangle piece poking out. That's part of the foot that was left behind that's going to turn into a mushroom. And then you can see the stretched out piece of the foot there as well. Um, and that one again is also going to turn into a mushroom. Uh, as you can see, this was started going earlier because that first batch there hasn't quite gotten as big as we just previously showed it. But this mushroom has been on the move and this one guy has turned into four, five, six already, plus four more coming out. So that's going to be 10 here very shortly. So these are the two new, uh, are the four new areas that we're looking at for growth. You can see um, the little part starting to come out there, the little tentacle starting to come out. And um, just kind of zooming in on it there, you can again see those tentacles poking out. You can see how the green starting to um, push down to the other piece. Looking here at the bottom, um, if we zoom in here on this piece, we can see where you can see that kind of disruption in the foot where it's going to start turning green there. Um, that's where the new coral on the bottom is going to push out on that one. So then just kind of zooming forward here a little bit, you can see there we go with two new mushrooms up top. Um, and it's this with the mushroom full, you can kind of see them there. They're a little bit hidden behind the behind the side. All right, so I'm going to leave you with uh, just a little look here at the mushroom being on the move again. You can see all the pieces of the foot being left behind yet again. So we had just turned it in one into 10 and now we're looking at turning a few more here. So we're going to be having a ton of mushrooms out of this one in a relatively quick amount of time. Hope you like this video. Hopefully it kind of gives you an idea on placement and what you should pre-plan when you put a Recordia Yuma in your tank. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, check out some more of my content, and I'll get more out soon. Thanks guys.